Hi besties, yeah, you all are my besties. Thank you a whole lot for stopping by and I really do appreciate. So you're welcome to my channel. So this channel is centered around sewing. I make sensual videos and pattern drafting. And if this is your niche or a niche you always like to get updated on, please do consider subscribing because you are not going to regret subscribing to this channel. And to all my subscribers, thank you all a whole lot for subscribing to this channel. So in today's tutorial, I'll be sharing with you guys how to make a simple and perfect mono strap jumpsuit and this tutorial is definitely going to be a beginner's friendly tutorial i'm going to um, make this as detailed as possible so watch out for this and without wasting much time i'll just get started with this tutorial Let's so to go ahead to start with the drafting of this dress firstly we are going to draft out a half scale basic bodies so this is the brown paper i'll be using you can use a cardboard or a white paper it's all about preference so from that top part we are marking i'll go ahead and start marking three quarter of an inch because the the first thing I will go ahead now to draft out now is a half scale basic bodies like I said earlier. So after marking that three quarter of an inch at that top area, I went ahead to connect those um, marks using my stretch ruler. So I went ahead to divide my shoulder into two. That was the first mark I made. I marked my neck width or opening of three inches and a neck depth of three inches. So after that now, I'm just going to um mark my armhole line of eight inches and i'm going to connect this line all the way down up to down my armhole line point so i'll extend this a little bit and that line will be my chest line so under my armhole line i'm going to divide whatever i have into two and take note of the midpoint i'll come in by half of an inch and under my chest line which i labeled cl i'm going to divide my bust circumference into four and whatever my um but circumference into four is i'm going to um, make a mark right there and using my um curve drew i'm going to connect from my shoulder all the way to down my um chest line just like this so after doing that now go ahead to input all my other necessary measurements which is my bust point of 10 inches my under bust of 13 inches and i'll go ahead and so it's also include my half length of 16 inches so i'll add one inch which should serve as the joining allowance that i'll use in joining it to the trouser part of this um dress okay so i'll go ahead now to extend all these lines into a straight line so i'll go ahead and label all of these parts and you all know if you've been following me on this channel what it all stands for so the next thing I'll go ahead to do is to mark my nipple to nipple measurement divided into two and I have three and a half inches. I'll make a point on all of these lines and I'm going to connect it with a straight ruler. So on the waistline, I'm going to come out at both sides by half of an inch and at the bust point, I'm going to come down by one inch. So I'm just going to connect like this so I'll be able to form a dart. So after that now at that neck width area i went up by um half of an inch and slightly connected it to my shoulder line so this will be my shoulder slope so after doing this now i'll go ahead and divide my under bust circumference into four and i'll make and i'll mark whatever i have there and i'll come to my waistline and repeat the same procedure i'll divide my waist circumference by four and mark what i have right there so because i've already divided my bust circumference into four on my chest line area i maintained that point there and i went ahead to connect all of these other points together so the next thing i'll go ahead now to do is to replace this that intake of one inch so i went ahead to replace this that right here so after it now I'll go ahead to add 1.5 inch inches which will serve as my sewing or stitching allowance. So after doing this right here, I'll just go ahead now and cut this out because I'm done drafting the upper part of this jumpsuit. So right here, you're going to cut out every other part, the shoulder, the armhole, excluding the neckline area. So you're not going to touch the neckline area because the part where we're going to cut the neckline area is not here. So after cutting um, all other parts, exclude the neckline area. So after all of that, go ahead and spread this open. So you're going to determine how deep or, yeah, how deep you actually want your mono strap to be so my clients preferred hers not too down or not too deep so i went ahead to mark four inches so at that point where my neck opening 
um stopped i went ahead to go in by one inch so the reason for this is for it not to tie to at the side of your neck so after that now i'm just going to connect that one inch into the three inches which i came down earlier on when i was drafting these basic bodies now to these four inches which will serve as the um as the mono strap or the off shoulder hand okay so that is it and you're just going to go ahead to cut it out exactly like this so after this now go ahead now and take note of the midpoint of this dress i'm using that crease line as a guideline because i folded this of course so i'm going to mark three quarter of an inch and i'm going to mark four inches downward and connect these two dotted lines together so on that line exactly i'm going to go out at both sides by quarter of an inch and here i'm trying to tighten this um this uh this um dress here to avoid gaping so that's basically what i did and i'll just go ahead now and cut this out after um the tightening so after this i'll use my masking tape now to join this together because it's not going to be like this for me to draft out on my back bodies so this is just um basically it and i'll just close this up using my masking tape and that will be all for the front bodies so I'll go ahead now and get my back bodies. Sorry, and get uh, um, another paper for drafting my back bodies. So I'll go ahead and fold this paper into two, just as you can see I'm doing right here. And I'm going to go ahead now to mark um half of an inch. And this half of an inch is going to serve as my zip or my zipper allowance. So I'm going to mark it all the way down. And after marking, I'll use my stretch ruler to connect this into a straight line. So after this now, So after connecting this now i'm going to place my front basic bodies exactly on that line i just drew there and i'm going to go ahead to use my office pin to pin this down to avoid it from shifting so after pinning this down now i'll go ahead and um, cut out i am not going to tamper with the neckline area so i'll cut out only the armhole the shoulder and the uh, um, half length of this dress so when i'm done doing this now i will remove the pins i use in pinning the front bodies to the back bodies then from the zip area i'm just trying to create my zip my zip slope here to avoid um bulginess at the back of the zip you should understand what i mean if you have been following me on this channel okay so i'll go ahead and unpin these um, front basic bodies from my back basic bodies so spreading this out you can see what the back bodies looks like but i'll go ahead again to also pin back the zip area because this is actually going to open for us to use the front basic bodies to trace out for the back basic bodies i hope you understand what i mean so pin it up is not meant to be open while you're trying to trace out the same um as that shape on the front busy but just watch carefully what i'm doing you definitely understand it so by the time i close up this zip area is going to be of equal um body size with that of the um, front basic bodies because there will be no allowance here mm -hmm. so the allowance and everything is going to align at both sides so that's the reason for closing up this zipper area so placing this you can see everything align the size the length and everything so i'll go ahead now and pin this together so after pinning i'll go ahead and cut out um the neck area so this is actually how easy it is to actually cut a mono strap top so if you are actually making this into a top at this point you can go ahead and cut it out on your fabric but if you're not you can go ahead and join it to whatever you're making it into skirts or gown sorry or jumpsuit so i went ahead to nudge my darts areas and remove all these pins so i'll go ahead as well again to also remove the pins i used in pinning down the zipper area and after pinning this down i'll go ahead and open up the zipper area because it's meant to be um two separate pieces at the back that will be joined together with the zip so this is what it looks like and i'll go ahead now and proceed with um drafting out for the trouser part of this jumpsuit so here the full length i'm working with is 58 inches and because i've already um drafted a Mm, have basic bodies of 16 inches so the trouser length i'm going to work with here is 42 inches so i'm subtracting 16 inches from 58 inches 
so from that top part that top part is actually going to be my waistline so from there i'm going to mark um the standard hip line of nine inches for majority of adults my crotch length of 11 inches plus half inch for seam allowance i'll mark my knee length of 19 inches so my paper wasn't up to um 42 inches i needed so i'll go ahead now and add more paper um to this and you can see i have my 42 inches here so i went ahead to mark for two inches and also added two inches extra for my um hemming allowance so that is basically all i did here so after this now i'll go ahead to use my stretch ruler and uh, rule out all these um dots i made right here from my full length to my allowance my knee length or my knee line That's my knee line right there. And again, my crotch line. Remember, I added half of an inch for ease or for seam allowance. Okay. So that other line is there is my hip line of nine inches. So that's basically it. And that top area is going to be my waistline. So at that top area, I'll just go in by um one inch and I'm going to connect like this into my hip line. So you can see how I connected this and on my crotch line, I'm going to come in by half of an inch and I'm going to use my curved ruler to connect um, in a kind of curving manner from my hip into my crotch um, line. So on my knee, I'm going to mark 1.5 inch inwardly and on my full length, I'm going to mark 2 inches inwardly just like this. So after doing this, I'm going to connect these lines i'm um, sorry this dotted points or marks i made here together using my straight ruler So you can see how I connect. I went ahead to connect all of these um, points together. So my waist area, I went ahead to divide my waist circumference into four. And whatever I got, I added 2.5 inches there. So on my hip line, I divided my hip into four. I added just one inch um, ease or seam allowance. And I went ahead to connect my waistline to my hip line. So on the crotch line, you're going to divide into two and not into four. I went ahead to divide my tie into two and I marked whatever I got there at that point. And I used my curve drew to connect from my hip line to my crotch line to form the crotch. Okay, so I went ahead to measure what I have on my crotch line. And I'm going to actually subtract two inches from this because um, it's not meant to be too wide as requested by my client so that's just it and with my curved my trouser curve sorry i'm going to connect this first and at this point i realized that my client actually didn't want this so wide so i had to reduce this so it depends on how wide you want the leg of your trouser to be so i went ahead to subtract two inches from this okay so it's actually not too big and it's actually not fitted so it's just normal so after that now i'll go ahead now to create my darts i'll mark my dart of three and a half inches and i came down by four inches i went ahead to connect these two dots and at both sides on this line i'm going to come out by half of an inch at both sides so i'm going to connect it down into the um four inches which i came down by so after this just go ahead and cut the whole of this out and we are done with the front um trouser panel so for the back now i went ahead to place this front trouser panel on another piece of paper so the next thing i'll do now is to come to my um, waist area and i'm going to come out by one inch like I'm, as i'm doing right there and that will be for the zipper allowance so on the crotch area you're going to come out by two inches so i went ahead to extend that line so at that point here between the hip and the crotch area you're going to mark 1.5 inches and you're just going to connect this this way so if you're not adding a zipper to the 
to the um, back of your jumpsuit no need of adding the one inch for zipper allowance so at the full length i went ahead as well to also mark 1.5 inches so like this i'm going to connect this all the way to the upper part of my trouser so do watch carefully so you see how we are to connect this okay So after doing this, this basically all, just cut out every other thing the same way it is and also notch your dart area. So I'll go ahead and cut out all of this piece and after doing this, I'll just transfer this to my actual fabric and all around this, my trouser part or area, I went ahead to add half of an inch for seam allowance because I didn't actually add any seam allowance all around this um trouser especially while i was cutting out so for the upper part i went ahead to also add half of an inch at the top area you can see i didn't add at the size or the zipper area because i've already gone ahead to add this while i was drafting so do watch out for the second part of this tutorial which is going to be the sewing part so to some other time see you on this same channel bye